Mai. Thanks so much for joining me as I delve into the concept of the equilibrium constant expression. This is sometimes called the law of mass action. Uh, it's kind of a misnomer. I prefer the law of mole action, but things do relate on a mass to mass level. We just don't calculate them that way very much. Now, what's nice about this relative to kinetics is the powers are derived directly from the coefficients. So we're going to be looking at an overall balanced equation to set this up. Now, the symbol that is used is a capital K. Remember in kinetics, or if you've covered kinetics, you may not have, but if you've covered kinetics, um, we use a lowercase k for the rate constant. Now we're using an uppercase k for an equilibrium constant. Now this k, this uppercase k, may have some sort of subscript associated with it. And all that subscript does is give us a clue as to what type of system that we are working with. The mathematics, the ideas, uh, the concepts are very, very similar, and they will be solved the same way. Now, there are some complications. Some are a little bit harder than others, but the approach uh, is very similar. So don't get too hung up on those subscripts. Just know that they're giving you a clue as to um, the system itself. So if you see KC, and honestly, sometimes I've just seen people put KEQ for some general equilibrium. That typically means that KC is concentration. And we are expressing concentration in molarity, not molality or one of the other units. K with a subscript P, a capital P there, um, we are going to be describing the relative amounts of reactants and products in terms of partial pressures. Okay, KSP is one that I don't find to be the most challenging, but students do. And so I'm going to be working very hard on that video to help give you clues as to how to make it a little bit more attainable. And that's KSP. The S and the P stand for solubility product. Solubility, sorry, hard to write and talk at the same time. That's an L. Okay, product. And uh, that is for salts that dissolve a very, very, very small amount. We would call them, quote, unquote, insoluble. Um, but the reality is, is a small amount does dissolve. And we can study that equilibrium as it goes from being solid salt to aqueous ions. Ka is going to be for an acid equilibrium. Um, those can be a little challenging, but the good news is those are all one-to-one -one mole ratios, so that makes them a little simpler. Kb is for a weak, so these would be for weak acids and bases. So let's take a minute and show you, let's write some equilibrium constant expressions for some reactions. Now, before we do that, there's some guidelines. When we do this, we're going to include anything that is aqueous, we're going to include anything that is gaseous, but what we're not going to include are pure liquids and solids. Those won't, especially liquid water, will not be included. Typically with a solid, as long as we have some as evidence that equilibrium has been achieved, we don't care how much. And our typical liquid will be water. So if there's a liquid that should be included because you're dealing with a different solvent system, you would be prompted in the example. And, and it's unlikely you would see this at a year one level. So what I recommend doing is before you start your K, you check your states. Check, literally, check them off. I'm going to include those. Now this tells me to use KP, so I can't use brackets. So it's going to be my partial pressure of HCl, and there's a 2 in front, so I'm going to square it. 
over my partial pressure of H2 times my partial pressure of Cl2. And since there's an implied one there, those are both to the first power. Now, if you put parentheses around those, you'd, you'd be fine. Um, but do not, do not, do not use square brackets. Square brackets communicate molarity. Okay, so let's take a look at our next one. So go through. This uh, is a single replacement. It, notice that it's a net ionic reaction as well. We've thrown off some sort of spectator ion such as nitrate. Um, we don't include solids. Yes on the aqueous, no on the solids. So K is products. KC, so it's brackets if you use parentheses and you're asked for the equilibrium constant expression, you would get it wrong if you didn't use square brackets. Now, once you start your math part of this and you put a number inside, you can switch to parentheses. But when you are asked for an expression, you must use those square brackets. And there's a one there, so an implied one there, over silver ion. Now, silver ion has, I don't know why I put a two there, sorry about that, a positive charge. There's a two in front, so I'm going to square that. All right, the next one is also KC. No solid, yes gas, no solid, yes gas. Okay, so I'm going to use brackets, O2, and I'll go to a different color to make my point. There's a 3 in front, so you raise it to the 3. This is all about multiplication, division, and powers. And this would be over H2O gas. If it was a liquid, we wouldn't include it, but we have to include it as a gas. And that would be squared, would be our expression. And let's just do a couple of others just to kind of give you a good example. Um, this is actually, and, and you can't quite see it um, because we haven't learned it yet, but I want to give you a heads up. This is a KSP. We don't include solids. We do include aqueous. So I've got strontium ion cubed times phosphate ion squared over, well, there, there's no reactants. There's nothing to put on the bottom. Now, if it makes you feel better, you can put the number one in the bottom, but you don't have to put anything in the bottom. It's just a numerator. And that's what we'll see when we do KSP. Okay, let's do one more. This is, oh wait, we're transferring a proton. So this is an acid base. We're going to call it KC. We're going to do it in terms of molarity. But this is HC6H5O2 to the first times hydroxide to the first over C6H5. O2 negative to the first. And this is actually a base reaction. This is a KB. You see we had all these different types and we still set them up the same way. We'll get into some math soon if you keep following me. Thanks for joining me. Take care.